right, we're going to your calls here in just a moment. I want to throw a program note out. I am consulting for and appearing in some of the TV episodes in October and November and December on True TV. A television program with Jesse Ventura, former Minnesota governor, wrestler, movie star, for those that don't know who he is. And while I was out there in Los Angeles last week taping interviews for that TV show, I got an interesting interview with Jesse Ventura. We're going to be airing that tomorrow on the weekday show, or maybe in two parts, part tomorrow, part on Tuesday. That's coming up. We also have an exclusive behind-the-scenes interview with somebody that a lot of the pollsters and political experts are saying is probably going to end up winning in Kentucky. That's Rand Paul, son of Dr. Ron Paul. How exciting is that, ladies and gentlemen, having a Ron Paul clone, that's what he is, a doppelganger, but a good doppelganger, in the U.S. Senate. We interviewed him when he was in town for a fundraiser Friday. That is going to be coming up during the week as well. So just wanted to get that out there so folks know that's coming up. And I've also got some other big guests coming up during the week. Uh, very, very exciting information on that front. Coming up later in the next hour, I'm also going to read in its entirety, Larry Flint, of all people, has come out against the New World Order and the Democratic Party, saying both parties are controlled and Obama is a New World Order frontman. This is a huge Democratic supporter, huge in Hollywood, always trying to set up Republicans, always trying to catch them, you know, with hookers and things. Uh, he's coming out and saying he understands the left-right paradigm, that it's all controlled now. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. So I'm going to go over that. Because when Larry Flint's kind of a canary in the coal mine, when he becomes nonpartisan, when he finally gets it, and by the way, I've talked to the editor at Hustler. It's from my films, our material. Very exciting. People say, why is your stuff published in Hustler? They ask, we let them. I mean, you know, whatever audience I can get to is the point. And about three years ago, I found they're like, we want to publish your articles in Hustler. And they published three of them in there. So, uh, but the point is, Larry Flint is now completely awake to the New World Order, coming out against Obama. Look out on that front. Uh, so, uh, that said, ladies and gentlemen, I want to get into the, the flu, big new developments there. Obama's approval rating, in case you haven't heard, Rasmussen reports the daily presidential tracking poll for Sunday shows a 27% of the nation's voters strongly approve of the way that Barack Obama is performing his role as president. 41% strongly disapprove, giving Obama a presidential approval index rating of minus 14. These figures mark the lowest approval index rating yet recorded for this president or any previous president. This is, this is just unbelievable. I mean, he was 49 two weeks ago in Rasmussen. Ladies and gentlemen, George Bush had a 39% when he left. I mean, this is, again, this is eight months in. All right, all right. I know I've already said that. It's just, I kept trying to explain though we've got to expose that he's a new world order front man when he had power and was strong because he's pulling through their entire agenda of carbon taxing and global government and u.n treaties and north american union and anti-gun bills and hate speech bills and government controlled health care hijacking 20 percent of the economy but he's still dangerous but now we've got to point out that the other party's controlled as well and, and, and both parties are going to continue to be unpopular as long as they continue to follow the orders of the special interests that put them in office instead of what the people want and what the Bill of Rights and Constitution states. So this isn't over. They'll just put a new puppet in and people will find out they're bad. And then another puppet, another puppet. And that's why this country's going into revolution because people are finally getting it. No matter who they put in, I mean, previously it took years for people to find out a president was scamming them. Now they find out in six, seven, eight months. The jig is up, folks, in the information age. All right, let's go to calls here. I'm going to go to your calls quickly and try to get to the next person. So please have your point ready. Uh, Wyatt in Maryland, you're on the air, Wyatt. Hey, don't Alex. Good afternoon. Thanks for taking my call. Wait a minute. Uh, I, I haven't heard from you in probably five years. This is the guy that shot the Marines training to confiscate the guns and take over Hebron, Maryland. That's in Police State 2000, Wyatt. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's been a while. I listen to you all the time, but just haven't had a chance to call. I work a lot, and I'm on the road a lot. Uh, in fact, I'm on the road now. Um, since uh, Congress has been on a recess, 
their their vacation, their, uh, uh, one of many. Um, C-SPAN radio, which I was still in, in, in my car, in my van, um, co is constantly playing uh, flu, uh, flu vaccine programming. It's either from Health and Human Services or Center for Disease Control or General Palatano from Homeland Security. They're constantly on. They have this thing uh, put down to a science, what they're going to do, how they're going to do it. And so and, and it's, it's, they're all talking about epidemic, epidemic, pandemic, epidemic, pandemic. They've got this thing planned. Uh, this is no secret for them. They're, they're, and and, and uh, La Palatano was on the other week, and they replayed it. And what she said is, I'm talking about, uh, well, we need the parents to take control of everything, make sure that they, they watch their children, blah, blah, blah. And then he says, and we're working along with the, with the Department of Defense. And you know what that means? That's, that, that, that's, that's uh, code for military. Well, Wyatt, 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 there's no yeah. code. Wyatt, there's no code about it. The Pentagon has gone to Congress and said, we want funding additional for 400,000 regular Army and Marines to patrol America to fight terrorism. I mean, this is Associated Press, The Hill, this is all mainstream news, and yes, that's the point. For listeners, and, and new listeners that don't study how government works, we said in January that they were building mass graves, getting ready for martial law, training local emergency managers and police that this was coming in the fall, Ten months later, I went on air, did show after show. Then we correctly said, and, and I'm not tooting our horn, I'm saying, because it's obvious, it's out in the open, uh, April was just the fear-mongering, the priming, the non-event, two or three dead Americans, uh, to so people wouldn't notice how obvious it was that they were building up, making the vaccine, openly coming out with announcements about forced inoculations and arming on the streets. So that was the uh, the smoke screen for them to go public. And you're right. They are gearing up like the, I mean, congressmen, governors are saying what you're saying, Wyatt. This is well, you, so what I mean by code is when Jan Lapalatano was on air on the C-SPAN at her, at her meeting, what she said was she didn't say military. She said Department of Defense. That's what I meant by code. She was using. Exactly. Uh, she's not sick. Right. So uh, last other thing, one other thing. I'm going up to uh, New York on 9-11. I hope, I hope uh, a lot of people will be there. Um, but your buddy Glenn Beck, who I can't stand, uh, is uh, is gearing up for nine twelve. That's all he talks about on, on his program. Nine twelve. Yeah, DC. he poses as a patriot to co-opt the liberty movement and make That's it about right. the That's police. Right. I guess, I guess he's going to be co-sponsoring it with him, John Ashcroft. Amazing. Unbelievable. Th listen, Wyatt, I appreciate your call. By the way, this came out two weeks ago. I didn't even cover it. I saw it in my old stack. And it came out Friday and I didn't cover it. Because to me, it's passe. I already know this. Our audience knows this. We broke this six years ago. Now Governor Ridge of Homeland Security and John Ashcroft, uh, the Attorney General, admit they were illegally ordered to issue fake terror alerts for political gain and the 2004 election. In fact, let's pull that up for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. I mean, of course the terrorism's used to take our freedoms and for political gain. Okay, great job, Wyatt. Great points. Mike, others, your calls are straight ahead. Stay with us after the news.